Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Friday, the 24th of July, 2020. Oh my goodness, guys. We are literally coming into the last seven days of this month. Oh my goodness. The last week of July. Good morning, everybody. Let's start this off with a blessing. Oh, dear Creator, dear Spirit Guides, dear Universe, please give us a blessing, a blessing for the Collective for this 24th day of July 2020, a blessing for the Collective for us to hold on to and move forward. Oh my goodness, look at this tree. Look at this. This is beautiful. Heart in the center. This is a blessed heart. If you feel that something is missing, look within you. Oh, let me try. Let me start that again. If you feel that something is missing, look within and you will find it. What is your heart saying? Your heart is the gateway to your soul and your soul is the eternal you. Know that you are free, protected, and blessed. Oh my goodness. We've never got this blessing before, guys. A blessed heart. Let me read this again because I stumbled twice. If you feel that something is missing, look within and you will find it. What is your heart saying? Your heart is the gateway to your soul. And your soul is the eternal you. Know that you are free, protected, and blessed. Namaste. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. That was a beautiful blessing card. We are blessed. We are protected. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. Okay, guys. So today I'm we're we're done with all the uh, vice presidential uh, picks. Next week we'll start pitting them one against the other until we get down to a final two. Okay. Today I have three questions, um, and I am so sorry I forgot who asked me to do the Kanye reading. I think it was. Cornell C. I'm going to say it was Cornell C. So, Cornell C, I hope you asked me this question. So, this one is for you. This one is on Kanye, all things Kanye. Uh, we know that he had <clears throat> put in his hat to run for president. And shortly thereafter, he had a very public uh, meltdown during one of his, I guess, rallies or speaking engagements, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't want to say anything bad about Kanye. Kanye has some, Kanye has some mental and emotional issues that Kanye has never dealt with. And Kanye is the epitome of a person who is being, who has a lot of money, but has nobody telling them, hey, I don't think this is a good idea. You know, he is somebody that has a lot of yes men and nobody telling him the truth. Kind of like our president. So let's do Kanye. Please, Taro, tell us about Kanye. Ta Kanye and his present self. Tell us about Kanye and his present self. Kanye and his present self. Here we go, guys. Kanye and his present self. Here we go. First card out. Ooh, we get temperance in reverse. Let me make sure. Oh. Nope. Temperance upright. Okay, this is balance. Cards were upside down. Kanye is out of balance. Crossed by the four of pentacles in reverse. That one came out in reverse, guys. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Pentacles upright is the, the little emperor 
holding on to his assets. The four of pentacles inverted is suspense, delay, and opposition. Interesting. What's above him, his goal or destiny, he gets the Six of Cups, the happy childhood family, fa uh, the happy childhood, happy children, happy home, okay? That's what he wants. That's what is above him. He wants to be happy. That is his goal or destiny. What is behind him, his distant past, he gets the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a dark woman who is friendly honorable, but has a love of money. Kind of sounds like that might be his wife. The fifth card, the recent past events for Kanye, we get the Empress in reverse. This is very interesting. The Empress in reverse, this is a uh, fruitfulness and initiative. In reverse, this is light, truth, and public rejoice. So I'm wondering if the public is rejoicing that he has already stepped away from the presidential campaign. Yeah, he's not running. The sixth card, his future influence. Oh, we get them. We're getting them coming out in reverse, guys. And I flipped the cards over. So they're still coming out upside down. His future influence, he gets the five of pentacles in reverse. Now, the five of pentacles upright is being left out in the cold. That is not having what you need. That is being uncovered, unsheltered, uncared for. In reverse, it reads disorder, chaos, ruin, and discord. Mm. Wow. The seventh card, the questioner, he gets justice, okay? And justice is justice. So in, in both aspects of the word, this is things that need to happen will happen for the betterment of us. And that's what's happening. The eighth card, the environmental factor, we get the nine of cups. We get another little emperor hoarding, protecting his assets. Uh, Kanye is so, 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 so overly concerned about his net worth. And the love of money, as we know, is the root of all evil. The ninth card, the inner emotions for Kanye, we get the three of swords, heartbreak. Heartbreak, heartbreak, sadness, loss. And the 10th card for Kanye, we get the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, this is him working on his craft. His craft is in music. He does that very well. But this is him working on his craft. So guys, what I'm getting for Kanye, and, and it says it, it says it all right here. It says it all in his signifying and crossing card. Kanye is searching for balance while trying to protect his assets. The, the presidential run was just a distraction. There was nothing serious about that. Okay? So, that's Kanye. It's kind of anticlimactic, but it is what it is. The second question is... Will the Senate and House Republicans keep their Trump support tactics? Will the Senate and House Republicans keep keep up their Senate, their uh, Trump support tactics? So this is a yes or no. We're looking for an ace or a yes card. Will the, and so to, to clarify this question for the readers, this question is basically, are the Republicans in the House and the Senate going to continue on the destructive um head in the sand approach that they have been taking towards Trump? Are they going to continue doing, um, towing the line for Trump? Will the Republicans in the Senate and the House continue to tow the line for Trump? Status quo, same old, same old. Will the Senate and House Republicans continue to tow the line? for Trump. Okay, guys. Well. Well. Okay. <laughs> Give that a little, let's move them around a little bit more. Will the Senate and House Republicans keep towing the line for Trump? Here we go, guys. 
first card out, we get the Chariot rushing forward into war. Wild Abandon. No breaks. Okay, crossed by the GOP Happy Family card. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. In reverse. Now, the Ten of Pentacles upright is, is gains Rich's Family Home. This is the GOP card. In reverse, this is Hazard. Uh, chance. Fatality. Loss of... Robbery, a game of hazard. Um, yeah, this is this is a uh, this is a card that's saying they are losing. They are losing. The third card. What is above them? Trump's base. The lovers. They are, even as they see, people abandoning the ship. They are going to continue. Look at this. This is this is Trump's base. This is, these are the people who will never abandon him. This is, their, this is their card. And that is the third card, the goal or destiny. That is what is above him. The fourth card, the distant past, we get the magician. Okay? This uh, loss of theft, abandonment, uh, a disaster, okay? Sickness, sickness, sickness is what stands out in this. But the, in reverse, this is mental illness or disgrace. Mental illness and disgrace. The fifth card, the recent past events, we get the eight of wands in reverse. This is things coming in quickly, happening quickly, information. And, you know, I said uh, readings ago that we were going to have another another whistleblower and we have another whistleblower so everything is coming out the eight of wands in reverse is jealousy internal dispute and quarrels so we're talking about senate republicans and uh house republicans and this is what it's saying that they're they're quarreling they're fighting there's sickness there is mistrust everybody's trying to keep it together for trump's base which they have become. The Republican Party is no more, guys. It is the Trump Party. There is not a Republican Party. The sixth card, the future influence, we get the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Now, this, this woman, let me read you. The Queen of Swords. This is widowhood. This is the female sadness. Embarrassment. Okay? So... I, I have a feeling this is going to be, these, these are the female Republicans in the Senate and the House, and this is how they are feeling. They are feeling embarrassed. They are feeling, oh my gosh, embarrassment. They are feeling embarrassment for where they are, some of them. Some of them are, are, have hitched their fortunes and their demise to Donald Trump. The seventh card, the questioner, there's our big old yes. There's our big old yes. Great big old yes. Well, not the great big old yes. This is a yes. This is a, a second big yes. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, Karma. But this card is saying that, yeah, they are going to continue down the road that they're on. The majority of the Republicans in the Senate and the House are not going to change course. They will stay united. They will fall united the eighth card the environmental factors we get the knight of wands in reverse the scaredy cat horse knight of wands in re is a uh, fear of moving forward also change of residence the uh eight of wands the knight of wands in reverse is rupture division interruption and discord every card that we have is showing disharmony guys there is disharmony in the Republican Party. And look at this, the ninth card, the inner emotions, hopes and fears. We get in fighting. This is the Republican in fighting card. They are fighting amongst themselves, but they nobody will step off the merry-go-round. This I don't understand this. In reverse, this card is trickery, contradiction, litigation and dispute, okay? The tenth and final card, we get our second yes. There it is. So, 
Yes, yes, yes. The Senate Republicans are going to continue towing the line for Donald Trump. United they stand. United they will fall. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Okay, guys. Last question in this reading is from uh, Danielle R. Kind of, sort of, and kind of for me. And this one, because she asked specifically about New York City. Um, but I'm going to ask this question just a little bit differently. And the question is, will Trump send his federal his federal troops, his brown shirts, his little uh, Nazi militia to uh, Democrat to Tem Democratic cities. Um, when he attempts to send his militia to Democratic cities, will those governors stop him? So will the governors of Democratic cities stop Trump from bringing in his federal brown shirt militia, his little SS troopers, his little storm troopers. Will the Democratic governor stop Trump from bringing the federal militia to their cities and states? Will the Democratic governors be able to stop Trump from bringing his federal militia into their cities and states? There's the question, guys. Here we go. Here we go. All righty. First card out. Make sure we're not upside down, upside down, upside down. Yep. 90% of them are upside down. So, look at that. We get the victory card. That's a yes. That's a yes. The question was, will the Democratic governors be able to stop Trump from sending those Yes, from sending. Okay, okay. So let me explain what I, what my spirits just told me. They, he's going to send these troops into these cities. So we can't stop him from sending the troops into the cities, but the cities can stop those those uh, that militia from moving outside of those federal areas. That's what's going to happen. They are going to make those federal officers only be on federal property, not in the city limit, prop, not on state property. They can only, they will only be able to be on federal property. That's what I just got told, guys. Second card, crossing card, we get the last judgment. The last judgment reads... Change of position, renewal, or outcome. So this is the change, guys, okay? So what my spirits just told me is that, yes, Trump is going to, he's going to send these troops into those cities and states, and those governors are going to enforce that they can only be on federal property. They cannot leave that federal property. Okay, third card, what's above? We get the seven of... Uh, pentacles waiting for the harvest to come in, waiting for things to mature. Okay, my spirit guides are in my right ear. The fourth card, the distant past. Here, here. This is this is all coming. This is about secret meetings. This is Trump's flailing, trying to. He's trying to. This is his attempt to show that he is about protecting America. But who is he protecting America from? He is waging war on American people. He's waging war on his own country. And that is what is the glare. The glare is that. And here it is. There's our big yes. The governors will stop him. Yes, yes, yes. So we've gotten to the very first card. We got victory. Those governors are going to attempt to stop him. And 
the the recent past the fifth card we get our second yes huge yes we get in in the future influence these are the the democratic governors they will show strength against opposition they will stand together united and they will not be moved the seventh card we get the the uh Three of Wands, waiting for their ship to come in. This is uh, commerce, trade, over the water. But this is opportunity. And they are waiting. Yes, they are, they, are, they are preparing. That's the word. They are preparing for for what Trump is attempting to do. The eighth card, the environmental factors, um, his... his uh, Trump's influence on other people, we get the five of swords in reverse. This is picking up the pieces after a loss, okay? And in reverse, the five of swords reads, um, destruction, degradation, destruction, loss, dishonor, and the same in reverse, including burial. The ninth card, the inner emotions, hopes, and fears, we get the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is evil, fear, suspicion, and mistrust. And this is what, this is why the fear, suspicion, and mistrust is exactly why the governors are standing up to this. Because of nobody knows what Trump's true motives are. Right now, it is just to harm people, to hurt people. And that's what bullies do. Bullies like to see people hurt. Pe people hurting. People right now, and I know I read on it before and, I, and we got this answer. The, the Senate is going to allow the protections for people to expire. Okay? Our government is working against us. Our government is not working for our betterment. They are rogue. They have gone rogue. They are lining their pockets with taxpayer money. And they are harming American citizens. And the final card in this draw, again, we get the Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a dark woman, friendly, honorable, love of money. But this right here, this card right here, this is Nancy Pelosi. And I know it, it's kind of, we already got our yes for this reading. But Nancy, I know what all of you are saying. She hasn't done anything. Why, have, why aren't we in a second uh, in, uh, impeachment by now? There is an undercurrent working and Nancy Pelosi is working fervently behind the scenes. There will be, we will not be disappointed when we find out what they are doing to try to help us. We will understand what has been going on. Okay. So, okay, guys, I know that was kind of weird, but for the last question, the, the, the answer is yes. Those governors are going to be able to stop Trump's Nazi militia from doing what they did in, in um, Oregon. Okay? All right, guys. The energies in the universe have been crazy. I know a lot of you feel them. I know a lot of you are having to purge or dealing with a lot of emotions. The full moon coming is, I believe, on the 3rd of August. I will, I'm not exactly sure, but we are in flux. We are moving. Things are changing. Try to take time, find time, make time every day to find your center, to sit somewhere quietly for a few minutes to center yourself, to realign your chakras, to connect with the universe and to connect with Gaia. 
things are happening quickly. Emotions, this is a very emotional upheaval. And this is, we're dealing with uh, a lot of childhood hurts, a lot of love issues, fa familial ties uh, are being brought up to the surface. Mother-child relationship, father-child relationship, siblings, um, and, and uh, yeah, siblings, just familial relationships are being brought up. Please acknowledge those feelings, examine them, and then let them go. They are being brought up for you to acknowledge that they happened, but now it's time to let the pain, to let the hurt go, okay? I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a fantastic day, guys. Happy Friday. Bye-bye. Oh, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.